Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I'm back, and here is that room tour you've been waiting for. Enjoy. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Kendley, and if you're one of my friends, hello, thank you for watching. Uh, wow, okay. It has been like four months since I posted that last video. I'm so sorry, things are so busy, it's so chaotic. A lot of stuff has happened, obviously. I moved out of OC, I moved out of the residency, and I moved into my Vancouver apartment, and then I moved out of my Vancouver apartment, and now I'm back home in Saskatchewan, so. I am here for the summer and I'm working two jobs before I go back to UBC in the fall. Two, I finished my first year. Not an easy feat, not gonna lie. Um, wait till the end of the video about a little announcement about that. And three, I got some tattoos. This one here, this one here. Yeah, I was just really excited to show you guys. But yeah, you guys have probably been waiting for this video. I said back in February that I would post it. I have not posted it. So just enjoy this room tour that I filmed a couple months ago. And that's all I can really say. Starting at the entrance, my door, I have my lock right here. In order to get in, you have to slide your student card and then press the first four digits of your student ID, then it opens. From the inside, there's also a manual lock that's fairly heavy duty. On the inside of the door, I hang my main jackets up here. It was fairly cold a lot of the time, so I had my winter coat and a thrifted windbreaker I found. Uh, it also rains a lot in Vancouver, so I have this clear poncho too. They're all hung up on this wall hanger that came in the room. I have a bunch of these throughout the room just stuck randomly from the person who lived here last. Oh, and here's the people into the hallway. Then I have my kitchen area right here. It's on the right side of the entrance in this little area that's supposed to be for storing your bike. I have two posters in here. This one I found on Etsy. I'll have the store linked below. I just thought she was really pretty. And this one also from Etsy is one of my favorite movies. I have a bunch of these kind of movie posters because they look so good and fun. So I'll link that entire shop below. My parents let me have this microwave and it's so, so convenient. I'm so happy I had it. It's really helpful for when I want hot chocolate or popcorn at 3 a.m. and the communal microwaves aren't available. Also, the communal kitchens are gross and it's just way better to have my own than me and my friends can use whatever. I have some lemon tarts here on top, just from Costco. And I also have some black disposable masks that I just keep on here so I can grab it on my way out or let someone use one if they need to. All of this is just on a microwave stand that I found at some discount liquidation center. It's really fun and really cute actually. On the side here is where I hang my dish towels. Very nice, nice color. On my first shelf I have my main stuff. So my bowls, plates, mugs, cutlery for easy access because those are the ones I use the most. The bottom shelf has some glass containers, instructions, and some sandwich bags here, if I ever need. I keep all my bottles and cans just here for recycling, so I'll just push those out of the way for now. This shelf dresser thing comes with the room, and so I decided to put it in this area. So on the top I have olive oil for some reason. Uh, a bit of Sprite left, and my hot chocolate mix, as well as a container full of chocolates in case anyone wants a little treat or snack when they come in. I also have these little artificial plant light bulbs that light up. My sister gave them to me for Christmas, and they're really cute. This first drawer is empty, but I usually keep breakfast foods in here if I miss open kitchen or just don't want to go down. The second drawer was for candy and sugary snacks, and then the bottom is the biggest one and has my most used snacks like cashews, popcorn, keto bars, and cranberry juice because I like to drink that. That is my garbage I didn't empty. Don't look at that. 
on this side is my bathroom, which I share with my roommate. It's really messy, so I won't get into it. But uh, that's the sink. And I have this half, she has that half. There's pretty big drawers under there as well. Across from that is a super tiny shower and toilet, and that's it. Oh, that's me. Hi. On the door, I have this Three Billboards poster, another amazing movie. I also hang up my hoodie on here. It's so fun. It's, I love it. It's my favorite thing ever, and I wear it all the time. Next to the bathroom, I hang my bags on this hook that was also put up by whoever lived here last. It's actually a pretty convenient place because I just grab them on my way out and they're out of the way. Here is my closet uh, right across from the bathroom. It's weird because the closet is really tall but not super deep or wide. It comes with these two poles across here as well. I can't move them. I keep my shoes on the floor, just my random scattered pairs that I have, and then my pants on the bottom pole along with some light jackets. It looks empty because I haven't done my laundry. And then my shirts here are on the top, sorted by color, and my dresses are on the side here. This empty wall is part of my entire photo wall. I also have a few on the other side, but it's too thin to really do a lot. Anyway, this is the main side, but since I have so many photos, I've just made it flow onto the other side like this. This little cloud up here is a gift from my friend Aiden. It lights up, it's so cute, and it's hung on another very conveniently placed hook. Anyways, um, on this side I have my photos and another poster. This one is 10 Things I Hate About You. And all this just goes over top of my very full laundry basket, which I got at HomeSense. I also have another basket beside it and I just keep extra blankets in there. On this big main wall, I have three more hooks that I don't like, so I don't use them. Uh, like the rest of the hooks here, someone else hung them up. Over here, over by my bed, I keep a power bar. I don't need to keep it by my desk, I'll explain later. My makeshift dresser nightstand is right in this corner. The top is kind of messy, so I apologize. But I found this jewelry rack at HomeSense, and I keep my necklaces and waist chains on the top, and my earrings and rings on the bottom part. I keep a water bottle on one of my little coasters here, and behind that is a really cute penguin that I painted when me and some of my girls went to a pottery painting place. And my glasses, obviously. This organizer trace thing was also found at HomeSense, a lot of my stuff was. And it has all my essential and important things that I can't forget when I go out. So stuff like my masks, my student card, keys, and wallets stay there so I can grab them on the way out and they're not scattered around my room. I have lip balm as well, and then my birth control and other over-the-counter medicines like Tylenol, Midol, cough drops, and Tums. There's also some little perfumes that my friend gave me and my disposable, which I take everywhere. Oh, and then some nail polishes that I never really used. So I did stack my dressers so I don't take space from under my bed and it's easier to access them. Just to quickly go through them, uh, I keep my bunny hugs on top and I have a lot of them, obviously. My pajamas, hats, and swimsuits are messily shoved into the second drawer here. The third one are for my shorts and my skirts. And then just down here, my bottom one, I'm not going to show because it's like my underwear, bras, and socks, so that's kind of private. Just don't need to show you guys that. And here is my bed. It's right out in the middle of the room with the headboard on the shared wall between me and my roommate. Under the bed is really messy and I don't want people to see it, so I have a queen comforter on to hide it. The beds are twin XL, and it's very important because sheets for that are kind of hard to find. But with the queen comforter, I don't really need to buy a bed skirt, so it's perfect. I also have this really cute Shein blanket, I'll have it linked below because it's actually a pretty good quality and does keep me warm. 
I don't have an actual sleeping pillow, so I sleep on a body pillow and a bunch of cute decor throw pillows. In this little nook, I have yet another pillow and a chair stool thing that I got from Ikea that people can sit on if they come into my room. And that's the view. Here's my shelf on the top. I know it looks like a lot of alcohol, but really, I just like to keep me and my friends drinks on here so it's safe and we don't get drinks from random people. I also do not endorse underage drinking. And I have a letter board and it's a quote from The Wolf of Wall Street and I think it's really funny because it's right next to a bunch of bottles of alcohol. Right next to it is a plant that I got recently. It's a peace lily and it's really pretty and easy to take care of. On my first shelf, I keep my sketching journals, shock glasses, and some medical supplies, as well as some poetry books that I like to read. Here's a Michael Scott book my mom gave me, as well as some books that I like if I have spare time to read. I like to organize them by color. Then I have my regular journals, writing, and finances and such. They are accompanied by an adorable pug door stopper Aiden got me, and there's a matching bulldog one right below it along with the Cards Against Humanity game. These are some clothes I was supposed to sell but never did, and then the bottom of my shelf is just laundry and makeup. So I have Febreze anti laundry detergent, and in these little jars I just have dryer balls in this one and dryer sheets in this one. And my makeup just stays in this handy little caddy so that I can pull it out whenever I need it. That's pretty much my entire shelf. Finally, here is my desk. It looks messy, but really it's an organized chaos. Um, just to go through it quickly, I have my camera bag under it, out of the way. There's also a small plastic recycling and garbage bin that comes with the room. Uh, in this corner of the desk, I know it looks messy, but it works, it works for me. I keep important papers at the bottom of the pile, so this has stuff from orientation, COVID test papers, etc, etc. I also have my note-taking notebook, and on top of that I have pens, pencils, markers, scissors, and glue, and a container on the top. Conveniently, there is a whiteboard and felt cork board that comes on the desk. I also keep some things from home here, so I have a watercolor portrait that my friend Chloe made for me, and then a photo of Aiden. Right beside it are some cards that I was given, so this one is for my mom. I also use it to hide those ugly wires. Um, I have a card from Easter and two Valentine's Day cards, which are very cute. Here's that power bar thing I was talking about before. It has both USB and normal outlets, so I think it's really great. It's the perfect size and my computer cord leads right to my computer that sits right in the center of my desk for the few times that I actually do work at my desk. On this side is my little makeup mirror. It's touchscreen and turns on like this. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. In this corner, I keep my Servant Heart Award that I got in grade 11. It's, a good, it's good for motivating myself and also a great reminder of that time in my life. Here's some photos I haven't quite put away yet. This one on top is from when we went to the beach. So this one's Maddie and Sama. They are my really good friends. And underneath is a roll of disposable that I just got developed. I'm really excited and this roll turned out really well, but I'm not gonna get into it or show you guys everything. Um, I'm just gonna eventually hang them up here on that wall and kind of extend it onto that wall a little bit. Every time one of my friends or someone comes into my room, I take a photo of my Polaroid and then hang it up on here. So here's just a list of people and friends from my first year. They're all hung up along my desk. And 
my favorite part of my room is my camera area. So each type of camera is separated by these fake candles because you cannot have real candles in your room. Uh, here's my wide Polaroid with some extra packages behind it. I use this one to take photos of my friends. These ones are my film cameras. I have a Canon with a 35mm lens. And then I also have this Minolta that I just bought at a secondhand store for $50. The camera, the film, the lens, all $50. It works and it's amazing. I'm over the moon about it. I'm so happy I got it. And then here's an extra roll of Kodak 400 color film. And finally, my digital Canon camera. I have three lenses up here as well. My 18 to 55, 50, and 80 to 300. This last quarter has a small camera tripod and a selfie stick slash tripod stand that my mom gave to me. It's really cute and I use it so much. It's really fun. Underneath, I have my favorite book, Humans of New York, and a book on how to take portraits because I'm always trying to get better. Beside my desk is a Goodwill hunting poster. It's my favorite movie, so I keep it there to look at it most. And that is my room. Okay guys, that was my room tour. That was my home for four months. I love it, I miss it so, so much. Um, OC is such a really great place to live and if you're coming to UBC in the fall, you're gonna love it. Hopefully I give you some inspiration about your room and hopefully I can give you guys an uh, idea of how big the rooms are and the windows and such. Back to one, me moving on, me getting a new apartment. I will have an apartment tour when I go back to Vancouver. Um, I'm just gonna ask my roommates. I live with two other people, two of my really good friends. And so when I go back, I intend on doing a full apartment tour. And I'm very excited to show you guys because it's, it's my first apartment. I'm really happy with it. I love the apartment and I really want to show it off for you guys, so hopefully when I go back, I will do that. Second, I finished my first year. I will be making a first year review video. I promise I will. I will have it out before the end of summer. I, I pinky promise you guys right now, I'll do it. So I'm just gonna talk about my grades, my classes, uh, social life, transportation, just everything that you should know about your first year and what to expect for UBC. And yeah, that's all I really have for you guys. Sorry it took so long to get out. Um, thank you guys for continuing to subscribe and continuing to watch my videos. I love getting messages from you guys. I love getting those little emails to say, hey, someone commented on your video. I really hope to see some of you guys at UBC next year. Don't be afraid to talk to me. I would love to meet you guys in person. So that's all for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are and I hope you guys are going to enjoy your summer. Bye! I forgot to mention, like and subscribe below! <laughs>